forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called Firecracker and it finishes at 12 inches. Here's the diagram. Here are four blocks set block to block and these are all facing the same way. These are four blocks and two of the blocks are rotated. Patch A is a three inch finished square. We cut three and a half inch squares. We'll need six patches for the background. All of these shapes have AccuQuilt dies and they're all listed on here. Patch B is a three inch by six inch finished rectangle. We cut six and a half inch by three and a half inch rectangles. We'll need two patches for the background. Patch C is a three inch finished half square triangle. We cut three and seven eighth inch squares. And for this demo, we're going to be making half square triangles two at a time. But if you were just using patches, you would cut this square in half once on the diagonal and get your two patches. But we're going to keep them in squares and use the two at a time method. And patch E and ER and D make up the tri rec unit or the triangle and square unit. And these are the cutting instructions for using the tri rec ruler. Here is the rectangle part and the triangle part and the AccuQuilt dies you can use to cut these shapes. It's a three inch finished triangle and square. Here are the fabrics I'm using. A low volume print for the background and red and white stars for the main fabric, the accent fabric. Here is patch A, the squares, and we have six of those. Here are the rectangles, we have two. These are for the half square triangles and we're going to make them two at a time. So I have the squares cut. And these are the pieces we have cut. The triangles and the sides are the rectangles for the tri-rec or triangle and square unit. For step one, we're going to use the C patches or the squares to make two half square triangles. And we'll use these squares here. If you're not familiar with this method, then stay tuned for a tutorial. If you cut these with the AccuQuilt, then you simply piece your patches together. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. The half square triangles are done. For step two, we're going to piece the triangle and square unit. If you're not familiar with this unit, Stay tuned for a tutorial that shows you how to cut and piece using the Tri-Rec tool and also using the AccuQuilt system. It's kind of in-depth, so if you don't need it, then just fast forward through it. So go and piece your four triangle and square units. I'm using the Tri-Rec tool to do the triangles and square, or the Tri-Rec units. We want a three inch finished tri rec unit. So we cut our so we cut our strips three and a half inches for the triangles and the rectangles. And we're going to use the three and a half inch mark on the ruler. Now I need to have eight of these units, so I need eight triangles. That's the first one, and I find it easier to turn the fabric this way. Now I have my eight triangles. Next we're going to cut the rectangle part of the triangle and square. And I have two pieces of fabric here, wrong sides together, and we're going to be cutting one set at a time every time we make this cut. The first one I've already done, 
you lay it down here on the three and a half inch mark and then you cut it. On the edge of this, there's this little bitty nub right here you need to cut off. It looks insignificant, but it really helps you in the placement of your pieces. So cut that off, and now we have our first set. And this gets you your pieces like this. And then your triangle is sewn this way. And this one I'm going to turn this way as well. So I have my one, I have my first set cut, now I need seven more sets. To piece the Tri-Rex unit, you turn the piece over like this, and that little notch you cut out, you're going to line up with this edge of the triangle. So you have your notch lining up that edge, and then you have your side lining up with this edge. And we're going to start our stitching here and stitch a quarter inch all the way down. When you stitch it, your stitching should start right at this point here, and this should be a quarter of an inch here. So we've stitched all the way down to the bottom, and then when we open it up and press the seam open, it will look like this. This nub up here you have to cut off because it just gets in the way. And down here, if you'll notice, if you'll notice down here, there's also a nub here that you can cut off. And this little angle for the rectangle fabric is sort of cut off a little bit. And that's just fine. It'll be it'll work out just fine. Now we take our other side, which is this, and we do basically the same thing. We're going to match down here. Match the, the where you cut off the little blunt edge right here along this line, and then match the long side here. And we'll start stitching here. If you can see where this V is. Right at that point should be your quarter of an inch and you start there and stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down and you should come off right here at this where this blunt edge was cut off. Here are two of them finished. This is what it looks like before the nubs are cut off. So you have a nub down here and here and then the last one up here. So you trim those off and here's what it looks like trimmed off. These little curved here, sort of curved edges here are just fine. It doesn't matter. It'll be taken up in the seam allowance. It's just how it comes out. And then those are finished. So go ahead and make all eight of those. This demo, I'm going to show you how to cut and piece the triangle and square unit using the AccuQuilt. Here are the pieces you use. I'm using a die. There's one die for the triangle and one die for the rectangle parts. AccuQuilt calls this unit a triangle and square. This is the triangle and these are the sides that make it the square. And you have two pieces. You have mirror images for your sides and your triangle is, is just a triangle. These dies are from the cube. These finish at three and a half inches. But there's a set for every cube and there are also sets you can buy that have all these dies on one strip and I think they finish at either three inches or four inches. There's a link at the in the description of the video to show you all your dies you can make the triangle and square with with AccuQuilt. My dies, I always outline my blades. I add a quarter of inch to each side and then I measure it. So here I've measured and it's four inches. So this tells me I need to cut my fabric at four inches. And if I only want one, I'll have a four inch square that I put on here. If I want to cut multiple ones, I'll cut a four inch strip. I've also figured out how many pieces I get per strip. And this one, I can get 17 of these shapes per strip. And I wrote that on there. And I did the same thing to the, the side parts. These will cut two at a time, but they are not mirror images of each other. And we'll get, get into that in just a second. And here I've measured again, this is three and, and a quarter and this is four inches. And I get 10 of these, that means 10 of this per shape, which means two per cut. 
So to cut this, the rectangle part, we need to have mirror images. If I put these on here, this is wrong side up. I had to flip it to get that shape. And this is right side up. So what you'll have to do is take your fabric, fold it either wrong sides together or right sides together. I just have these wrong sides together. And then put your fabric over the two dies. And this will give you two sets. It will give you two left sides and two right sides. And they'll be the same. So that's what you have to do with these. The triangle, it doesn't matter how you put it on the, the die because it's symmetrical and it won't matter left or right. Here's one that I've cut and it's like this and it came out of this. So I wanted to show you how I cut these. I'll lay this on here first and I'll cut one then take this off and usually I cut this part off here because I don't want it to get in the way. Now I have my angle here so I can flip it this way and then you get better use of your fabric. So make your cut here and then cut off these little pieces and then flip it and just continue cutting as many as you need. So for one unit you need one triangle and one pair of mirror image sides. Now let's see how we're going to piece these together. If I'm piecing a lot of these units I will chain piece one side first. So I'll if, say if I'm doing 8, 10, whenever, whatever, I'll do all of this side first, press them, and then add the next, the last side next. The dies have cut off all the points here. This gives you a way to match up for your piecing. So we'll take this first one and flip it over. I'm matching this cut here and this edge. I usually start with this one because it matches better. This is at the tip of the triangle. So let's match this here and then match whatever, however it ends up here. Then I'll start stitching at a quarter of an inch and then finish stitching a quarter of an inch down here. Now I wanted to zoom way in so you can see. This is the bottom part, that the part that I matched first, and you can see the stitching comes out almost right on that point. And up here, it doesn't really match any point here, so just be sure you have a quarter of an inch when you start stitching. Now I'll press it open. This is pressed open. This is the bottom part of the triangle, and you can see it, this white part, or the side part, comes out just a little bit, but that's okay. And then the top part comes out, they meet together at the edge. And that's what you want. Now we're going to flip this over. This is how the piece goes. So we'll flip this over. Now you're going to match the top part of the triangle with this part right here. So match that there. Match the straight edge here and the edges here. Stitch up here, start here with your quarter of an inch. Going back one step, each time you match your side pieces to your triangle, do the matching at the tip of the triangle. Before we had the tip facing this way and we started our matching down here. Now we have our tip facing this way and we started our matching up here. And here's what it looks like. This is even across the top here and that point is right at your quarter of an inch. And then down here you're off a little bit with your quarter of an inch but that's okay because we did the same thing over here. So now we will press the seams open. And here is your finished triangle and square unit. You see from the tip of this point to the edge is about a quarter of an inch and it's straight across the edge, nothing to cut off here. And then down here, you'll see these little bitty pieces kind of come out a little bit. I would trim those off because they might get in the way when you're stitching. There's a little bit peeking over here too. And you'll see that this white part or the side part comes out. It looks like maybe an eighth of an inch comes out on the side. But don't worry about that, it will be taken up in the seam allowance when you sew this unit to another piece.
And that's how you stitch the triangle and square with the Accu quilt. Now our triangle and square units are done. If we look at step three, we're going to take two A patches and two of our triangle and square units and piece this four patch unit. And we'll make two of these. Just follow the diagram and place the patches or the units exactly how it is in the diagram. Piece these two together and these two, press the seams and then stitch the rows together and you'll make two of these. Our step three units are done. For step four, we'll take the half square triangles, the A patch and the B patch and we'll make two units like this. We'll sew these two together first, press the seams, and then sew the B patch next to it and press the seams. Now we finish the step four units and step five we just refer to the diagram to assemble the block. Go together like this. Sew these two together and these two Press the seams and then sew the rows together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.